So I'll just get started with your main reading and then I'll talk about each of the weeks. The world card is always a positive card, whether it's in the upright or reverse positions. And you've got it here in the reverse position, but it's central for April for you. And the world means, as you can see, feeling free, feeling like fully yourself, feeling um, supported by the universe. This is the four directions of the zodiac. You can actually see it's echoed here on the mat. Down here is Leo. Down here is Taurus. I'm not sure if you can see that. The eagle, which represents Scorpio, and Aquarius. So it's like support from all directions. And this victory laurel uh, represents coming, something coming to culmination, fruition. It's integration with the self. It's just when you feel like you're completely, entirely yourself and supported by the universe, you're in the zone, you're in the flow. In the reverse position, it's saying it's here for you. Your um, support from all sides is there and available for you. But in the reverse position, it makes me question, are you, is there something that's preventing you from receiving that, Capricorn? It's like all the world wants to come to your aid. All of the world wants to support you. There's support coming from all directions. Um, this is a card about feeling open and free and complete. But even though that's waiting for you, what is the fear resistance, doubt, or just unacknowledgement of the fact that that could be the case for you? Is there a way that you don't believe that could happen and therefore it's you're not seeing it because it's there? April could be a very fulfilling, I'm going to use that word and I want to use it again, because uh, fulfilling could be a very prominent word for April for you, Capricorn. But you do have to do some work to let it in. There's some sort of block, some sort of fear, resistance, doubt, Maybe just not believing it could be true, but this is here for you. World, the world is rolling at your feet. So a great card for the central theme for April for you, Capricorn. Enjoy it. Open yourself up to it. The world is yours if you should so choose it uh, or allow it even. Which in the shadow position is death in reverse. So there. What this is telling me in the shadow position and in the reverse position is there's some sort of end that you are having a hard time accepting or letting go. Death shows depicts this cutting of this rose, the cutting of the bloom. And it says that, you know, all things come into existence, all things go out of existence. That's the natural cycle of life. And death cuts this bloom and says, let's, let's cut it and gather the seeds to make new life. So it's all about transformation, change, endings of cycles, letting something go to make room for something new. With this card in the shadow position and in, in reverse, it's saying there is some definite resistance, fear, doubt to letting go of an old chapter and welcoming in the new. It's, it usually says it's a hard time letting go of something. So I'm going to ask you with this in the shadow position, what is it that you're having a hard time letting go of Capricorn? Is there, is there a cord that you need to be cut? Or is there a cord that needs to be cut? Um, I also use when I see this card like this, a saying that says, let go or be dragged. It's a Buddhist saying. So if you want to hold on, if you want to try to keep that rose alive when it's wilting and dying, it's it can be a, um, a big waste of focus or attention to try to keep something alive that is naturally passing away. Um, you need to let go of this and embrace the new Capricorn. And I have a feeling that once you cut this cord and let this go, this may correct. You have a huge, beautiful, open world available to you. And this is freedom, too. So whatever... Whatever you're holding on to is keeping you from being free. Now, there's another thing that um, may help you with this. These are all major arcana again. So there's some big, big story or big influence or big event that these relate to. This one has to do with forgiveness. Judgment is what's passing away. And in this position, it says you need to let go of the past. Both of these cards are echoing this. Judgment means letting the baggage of the past go. Any judgments that you have against others or yourself. You can see this is a card when the old souls that have been buried. Again, another death theme. So there's something that has died. There's something, whether it is a family member, whether it's a relationship, whether it is a lifestyle or a way of being. Something, something is, is dead and needs to be let go of. And judgment means when 
when the final judgment day comes and all these souls are released. So I'm getting a theme of something dying, a, a, a soul that has been, that has died and needs releasing. And then that's where this freedom comes. That's where this person gets resurrection or freedom or just new life. So I want, I want to point out for you that this is in the passing away position. This is letting go of old stuff. This is, I often call this card forgiveness. So who do you need to forgive, Capricorn? Um, is it yourself? Is it another person? Is it the family? Is it some, something to do with the past? Because this spiritual fire really burns up a lot of old stuff. It's like throwing old things into the fire to be burned. It's, it's like letting go of old stuff. You may even want to do a cleansing ritual when this comes up with putting, writing things down on one single piece of paper, write things down that have to do with the past that you want to release and then put it in, put it in a bowl or something like that and, and burn it. And, and you, it's a way of releasing it. You need to do some sort of cleansing of the past is what this is telling me. It's really going to free you, Capricorn. It's going to make you feel supported, fulfilled, and free. So that's, that's what I'm, those are some all major arcana cards. And guess what? Here's another one highlighted for you. This is your highlight position. And in reverse is fool. This is someone who's ready to start out on a new journey. This is someone, this is the last card of the major arcana. This is card 22, finishing up, being released. This is card zero, which is beginner's mind. It's card, card, it's even before number one. So it means all things are, are possible. Potential energy, having faith, having trust, being open. So with both of these in the reverse position, where, what is your fear or resistance or doubt towards letting go of this thing, using forgiveness to cleanse that and opening up to this new thing? Are you ready for this new thing? There's some major cycle ending here. I also point out too that this is the zero. If you can see the zero in this card, and this is the zero card. So it means like, Something is happening in your life where there's a big eraser that is erasing the old stuff, what's current, and it's making room for a new picture. It's making room for new creation, new life, new opportunity to come in. But you have to be open, that's one of the words of this card too, to receive it. So fool, fool is naive and innocent and open and trusting. He believes in life. He jumps off that chasm you know, or he jumps into the, off the cliff into the chasm, knowing and trusting that life is going to catch him. So this is about new adventure, being open to the opportunities that come your way, having an open heart, seeing things with, with new eyes and feeling refreshed. And that's the theme of the major arcana. And then guess what's coming in? This is what's approaching for you, Capricorn, in April. Nine of Cups. This is a card of satisfaction, which is fulfilled. Cups mean heart energy, so feeling like your cups are full. I sometimes look at this as someone who has a, um, a, uh, a wine cellar full of wine, and they, they sit at the table and they're satisfied. So this is what's approaching for you, Capricorn. Let this wish fulfillment in. You're just going to need to do some cleansing of some old past stuff. Get rid of this. Like, look at look at what's here. Don't be fearful about this. Confront it head on. What do you need to let go of? Because it's going to open you up to completing the cycle and beginning your new cycle, Capricorn. There's some really great, great energy there for you. Um, then I see in the first week, you've got King of Swords at your side. This could, could potentially be an air sign person, so Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And usually King of Swords is an expert in something. He's got a very logical, rational mind. I sometimes call this my King Solomon card because he makes excellent decisions. He uses his power of analysis, of um, logic. He's fair. Um, he's usually a master of the mind. So if this isn't literally a person that's coming into your life first week of, of April, you may need to call upon an expert of some sort. This could be a lawyer. This could be a teacher. It could be a counselor. It could be um, someone that you just go to for counsel. It could be someone that you are uh, having as a mentor. So again, it could be 
air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or it could just be someone who holds the archetype of King of Swords, making good decisions, someone who is wise, has good advice, um, makes decisions based on knowledge and expertise. So rely upon them, Capricorn, in the first week of April. Second week of April, or this could be showing up as you. You could be at the top of your game, thinking clearly, rationally, making good decisions. Let's put, that's also a possibility, but usually, usually Swords is air. Um, for second week of April, you've got five of cups in reverse. So whatever it is that you let go of here in April, whatever this is that you need to let go, of, it may resurface during the second week of April where you kind of don't want to let go, where you're kind of, there may be some grief, there may be some sadness about it. It's sort of like saying, you know, I, I just want to acknowledge these three cups that have been spilled. You know, it's, it's usually blood or wine or there's something that's really tender and close to your heart that is lost. But I also point out that there are still two cups available to you once you turn around. So there may be, there may be some grieving that you need to do or just acknowledging a loss in week two of April. But remember that not all is lost. You just have to let let it flow. If you have resistance to grieving and you don't want to acknowledge how sad it's making you feel, by letting it out and letting it go, Capricorn, you'll be able to turn around and receive these two cups sooner. This is, again, heart energy. This is echoing. All of these are cups energy. If you look at this line here, two of cups, nine of cups, page of cups. By, by acknowledging and grieving the sorrow of having to let whatever it was that your heart loved go, you open up to what's available to you. And then, by the way, all these other cups show up, wish fulfillment, satisfaction. And it, it ends up being something that makes your heart leap. It ends up cracking you open to your younger self. So eight of cups, again, more theme of moving on. This is eight of cups in, re in reverse. So this eight of cups has to do with something that you put a lot of time and attention and love and energy into something that you built, something that you um, spent time, spent a lot of your heart on. And eight of cups means being ready to move on again, more themes of this death card. Um, but eight of cups in reverse says I'm ready to move on on a certain level, but I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm acknowledging that, I'm, I'm feeling weary. This is end of the current cycle. So I'm feeling weary. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling ready for the next chapter of the journey. In reverse, there's some sort of fear, resistance, or doubt to moving on to that next cycle. You, you keep getting these recurring themes, Capricorn. I want you to, to kind of hear that. You're going to have to release whatever it is that you need to release. Let that go. Use forgiveness. Um, Acknowledge the loss, maybe grieve. That's going to open up new heart energy to you. Ask yourself, what, did it, what is it that is preventing me from moving on to the next cycle? Where are my fears, my doubts, my resistance towards moving on from this thing? Is it because I'm so attached to it? That, that's also echoing here. Then fourth week of, of April, you have the opportunity to feel new love. This is openness and willingness. Page of Cups is openness regarding the heart. It's like saying, what makes my heart leap? What made me excited and joyful as a teenager or as an adolescent? Because Page is the younger part of ourselves. So this is showing up for you. This is, can be infatuation. This could be puppy love. This could be like falling in love with a new creative project it could be falling in love with something that you do what makes you happy what makes you joyful that's what this card asks how can i be open to receiving that and willing what makes my heart leap in the reverse position it can sometimes be cynicism or saying i i don't i don't get to be happy i'm moody sometimes this card in reverse reminds me of like a goth kid or an emo kid like no my heart doesn't get to be full i, I the how the emo or goth kid looks at this is the, the fish jumps out and the fish dies. <laughs> so it's not that, Capricorn. It's, it's what makes you happy, what makes you fulfilled, what makes your heart leap, what brings you joy. So I want you to consider that. What fear, doubt, resistance am I holding in place that is preventing me from feeling this new joy, this new fulfillment, this new satisfaction of the heart? 
what what made me happy when I was a kid? What made me happy when I was an adolescent? That's worth thinking about because this is the younger side of yourself. Allow your younger side to come out and play that fourth week of April, Capricorn. 